Sterling. Now, let me do the first bid because you went first on Hillary Clinton. Sure. Okay? No problem. All right. So my, my problem with the Do, Donald, Donald Sterling situation is this. I almost called him Darling Sterling. <laughs> but, uh, <yeah. laughs> okay, here's the, re- here's the thing, guys. You ever hear something called the First Amendment rights? You know what that really is? Okay. So, now, that's if he's out on a podium speaking and saying something probably he shouldn't ought to. But he has every right to say it because that's what America's about, speaking your mind. That's why we're on the radio, because we can speak and talk to people and say whatever we want. And when it comes time when we can't, then let's go over to Moscow because we'll probably be better off. Now, Sterling didn't say anything. Now, let me say that again. Sterling did not say anything that most Americans have not said against another race or creed or color. Everybody said it. I don't care who you are. You have an opinion and you have a slant one way or the other. That's why we hear of strong stereotypes. Like, who who, who are the bad drivers? You tell me. Right off off the top of your head. Who are bad drivers? Want me to tell you? Okay. You know bad drivers? Bad drivers? Yeah. yeah, men. Okay, you say men, but most people say Asian. Oh, without a doubt. Just, Hustle. So there Hustle. you go. That's Hustle. a stereotype. You have the right to say it. But here's the problem. He said this in confidence with his mistress. They were one-on-one. Now, I don't know what she's up to. I believe it's a, 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 a bag scheme to try to get some money out of this guy. And she brought it to the public, and now he's suffering. I don't agree with what he said. I think he's a creep, and he, he should do the, the right thing, just bow it like he did, and not make a fuss, because he Yay. can't own a organization like that and not have uh, common sense about race. So because he didn't, yeah, he probably should leave. But should NBA have the right to kick him out? Absolutely not. Your view. Boy, there must be an eclipse coming. Once again, we kind of agree, but we kind of disagree here. Now, I'm going to say this way. First of all, I believe you said, let me just uh, get this straight. I want you to clarify this. You said Asians are the worst drivers. Is that correct? I saw. I saw. No, I'm saying that stereotype is that Asians are the worst drivers. Okay. Now, back to Donald Sterling. You know something? You are totally correct. You're right. He has... Freedom of speech, without a doubt, and he had, he's entitled to his opinion. However, that became public. Now you have to do damage control because his bylaws in regards to the NBA, uh, most of his team is uh, African Americans. I don't know. I, you know I'm not going to say the term African Americans. I'm going to say black. All right, most of his team. They're made up of blacks. There might be even a Latino on there. So the point is this. You have to eliminate him from the league somehow. But you're right to the point where, you know, he he had the right to say whatever he, he felt he wanted to say. Now, but isn't it amazing how Donald Sterling is getting all this grief, but yet, but yet, these comedians, and even your buddy Howard Stern can say things even worse, but because Ooh. it's in a different forum, it's okay. Well, here's the thing. He didn't say it in a public forum. He didn't go on a podium and say it, because if he did, then I agree with NBA. Kick him out. He said this pillow talking with his mistress. So right. it doesn't count. Taking a guy who isn't expecting to be taped and having broadcast by TMZ, who's a bunch of creeps, <laughs> I believe it's just plain dead wrong. And you can't hold him to something he said to one person whispered in his ear, and now he's paying big time. He's wrong, he shouldn't have said it, but in the context he said it, we don't even know truly what conversation went on before that to make him say that. Do you think if the NBA didn't do anything, those players could have boycotted, and you could have been talking about chaos. You had to do what was right. Uh, the look, 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 look. That's neither here nor there. No one's turning down a $10 million contract because some guy called him an end. Uh, I believe that 
common sense would prevail that this guy didn't come out and say a racist statement. Plain and simple. So my point is, it's moved. It's right now. Donald.